Hello, hello. Right, what I suggest you do is you go away, you watch the high rem video in full, and then you come back to me. I honestly don't want your first experience of this to be some interrupted assessment from a Muppet like me. So please go away, come back in 10 minutes, and I'll see you then. Talk about setting a scene. Reminds me of a flat I used to live in. Wasn't a great experience. Hello. That reminds me a little bit of the Eurythmics Sweet Dreams, the ding 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 or a little bit like the intro to Fight Fire with Fire from Metallica of Ride the Lightning. If you've not heard either of those two songs, listen to them and I think you'll get where I'm gathering these comparisons from. This vocal bit here brings back memories of Jeff Buckley to me. If you've never listened to Jeff Buckley, please listen to um, his album Grace from 1994, I think it was. It's an incredible record, one of my favourite records of all time. Um, and he influenced uh, vocalists such as Tom York from Radiohead, Chris Martin from Coldplay. So you can see where that sort of style comes from. But yeah, it brings back really eerie memories of, of, of Jeff. Hi there, Rand. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know I'm always in periphery. Rand, on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Rand. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. I did a bit of research about Ren prior to recording this video and learned that he had had a record deal with Sony up until him being diagnosed with Lyme's disease in 2016. And unfortunately, it was taken away from him. So you can really sympathise with the guy for basically having his dream in the palm of his hands and then it being taken away from him by something he simply cannot control. It's enough to send anyone into a really dark and depressing place and I think this track is what it's about. Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you You've been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program, rejoice All your problems will be gone Fucking dumb boy Nah, mate this time is different, man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not... Wow Holy shit, man I love how he jumps between the split personalities, i.e. the voices in his head. It's so dark but cleverly done and it just transfixes the listener or the viewer in this instance. Not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? 
Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me that's enough, cause this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. I completely agree with him here. He has, in the last few months, almost become a spokesperson for a generation. People with mental health issues or depression, um, any type of illness, everyone's latching onto him and rooting for him to succeed in 2023. I think he's going to be huge. Honestly, I think he's going to be massive. And good luck to the guy. I think he's brilliant. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it <laughs> That's so clever and so true. He's inevitably going to get comparisons with Eminem because he's white and he's rapping, which is just complete bollocks, to be honest with you. It's like when I was about 16 or 17, I bleached my hair when I had hair. Um, and I used to walk down the corridor in school and people would shout out Eminem to me and I'd get really pissed off and go, oh, oh, how can I be Eminem when I listen to Nirvana and Slipknot? Uh, I don't think so. Anyway, that's how lazy people can be. Um, but he's definitely not an Eminem uh, ripoff. This guy is his own musical personality and he's a fucking genius. Man, you're not original, you criminal, rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius. And I will be great, and I will make waves, and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. I love how the guitar isn't in tune and it's not set up great. You can hear with um, for any like non guitarists out there, there's something called action, which is basically the height of the strings from the fretboard. So you can hear sort of like the buzz, the fret buzz. And as I say, yeah, it's, it's clearly not perfectly in tune, but with all the ambience and the reverb in the mix and the sound when this is recorded, it, it just sounds eerie and um, gothic and just disturbing, which is what this video is trying to portray. some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawn just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet 
And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor how can you watch this video or listen to this track and not be completely mesmerized or drawn to Ren as an artist? It's incredible, it's different, it's clever, it's dark, it's funny, it's disturbing, it's honest, it's tear jerking. Um, I've seen people completely bawling their eyes out when they're listening to this, but he's become um, a spokesperson for a generation of people that feel they don't have the the courage and the ability to express how they feel and this is why everyone's rooting for him everyone's willing him to succeed and for 2023 to be his year and i really really hope it does happen for it it's, it's a disgrace that it's taken this long for him to get the publicity and the recognition he deserves because he's been around for quite a while um and I'm, I'm ashamed of myself that i haven't heard much of him before i'm bad mel and I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shade So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong and when I am gone, I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, a mortal like you We're a coin to different sides I'm actually shaking <laughs> um, Wow Wow, 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 wow It reminded me a little bit of Jamie T there um, it's, it's so pretty, it's such a beautiful track When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax, and I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. This is beautiful. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Wow. He's a poet, he's a songwriter, he's a singer, he's a guitarist, he's a multi-instrumentalist, he's a producer, he's a performer, he's an amazing artist. Give it up for Ren. I'll be straight up with you, I'm at a stage in my life where I'm pretty set in my ways with regards to the genres of music I like or the bands and the artists that I continually gravitate towards. 
But every now and again, I stumble upon something that just completely takes me by surprise and gives me hope for for new music and, and, and the future of music. And Ren is one of those people. I genuinely think that 2023 is going to be the year of Ren. He's going to be on billboards, in magazines, on TV programs and in interviews and winning all sorts of awards. And if he doesn't, then I've basically lost all hope and faith in humanity. I sent a link of this track to a colleague at work recently and I was basically saying to them, oh, you've got to listen to this track. He's incredible. He's amazing. It'll change your life. La, 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 la. Anyway, I was waiting a little while for response and a little while longer and I'm super impatient. So I responded back saying, have you heard it yet? Have you heard it yet? What are you, what, what the hell are you waiting for? And they said, oh, yeah. I um I listened to a little bit on Spotify and I didn't last more than 20 seconds. It's not my cup of tea. And I was like, what the effing fuck are you talking about? Personally, I think you have to watch this video to garner that full experience. It's music, it's poetry, it's amazing songwriting, it's cinematography, it's videography, it's... It's art. It's not just a song that you can listen to in your earphones. I think the performance of Ren in this video um, is incredible. And I'm just, every time I watch this, I'm completely transfixed. And it makes my jaw drop and hair stand up and my stomach do weird things. I just turn into a statue and can't fathom anything else going on around me. It just grips me. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I think you can gather from my enthusiasm and excitement and the fact that I'm just like, that he's one of a kind. And I think we're so lucky to have him and be able to witness this in our lifetime because he's incredible and I'm really rooting for him and all the success that inevitably comes his way is fully deserved. Please let me know in the comments section below what you think of this track. But until next time... Thank you for watching, look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye for now.